With the sun shining, windows open, and coffee brewing, Terry and Frankie welcomed an interview at home to introduce themselves and their debut album, From Disco to Opera. From Disco to Opera, can you tell me more about it? Well, it's a mix of music for everybody. If you enjoy opera, you've got it. If you've got disco, you've got salsa, you've got country, you've got country, it's French, it's Spanish, it's a bit of everything on there. So it's for everybody, everybody's style. Is that what we should expect from you too? Is a bit of everything that we can all enjoy? Yes. Yes. One of the memorable moments between you two was when Frankie, when you saw Terry singing in the church choir. Yes. Can you tell me a bit about that? Yes, the first time I went to St. Gabriel's Church, I saw Terry singing in the choir and I got a bit emotional. I was tearing a bit because I wanted to sing with her. <laughs> so then I started singing and uh, Lisa, our boss, said, uh, why don't you join the choir? And I said, okay, I'm going to join the choir and sing with Terry. So then we were singing together. What's it like to sing in a choir at church? What's it like? It's a lot of fun there to just be around people. and. You've been doing it for a while, eh? Singing in church? Since I was 42, I've been in church choirs. Wow. St. Uh, Patrick's Basilica Choir did recordings and things with that. Then I changed to St. Gabriel's Church. Mm. You've uh, sang for a lot of different people. I know you've sang at uh, retirement homes and hospitals. Yes. What's it like to sing to people in need? It uh, makes you feel good that when you to, to go into the uh, patients and things like that. Mm -hmm. You go out and have some fun and they, they love company because some of them are very lonely in the homes. They don't have visitors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you go in, it's company, we have fun with them. And that's just the beginning of your experience, eh? Because you've traveled all over the States and throughout Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, are there any moments that stand out to you? Any moments? Coming down from Frobisher Bay, we came down in a whiteout. And we couldn't hear for quite a while because it blocked our ears completely. Oh. And the other, one of the entertainers, we didn't want to come back in the plane, but we had to. We couldn't leave him in Frobisher because he was so scared. <laughs> but we come down with an almighty flood and everything was white in front of us. You couldn't see a thing. Wow. Wow. What was the performance for going the, out there? Uh, the Eskimos. We were, we were doing a show up north, mm. right up in the north country. Mm the Eskimos. And how did they react to the performance? Oh, they loved it. One Eskimo gentleman ran right up to his, I'm Eskimo, and gives me a hug. <laughs> he was all, so thrilled. <laughs> You've performed here in Montreal too. Yes. Any memorable moments that stand out? I'm Reno Park when they had an argument or a fight between two motorcycle gangs, the chain, chains were coming out and uh, well, we sang well because we didn't want to get it brain. But we did the best show of our lives. <laughs> and I had to have an escort to get out of the out of the place because it was so rough that, that, that night. That's something to remember. Yes. <laughs> yeah. you your wits. <laughs> A little more recently, I know at Place Versailles you sing at Le Hub, the hair salon. Um, any That's memorable cool. moments from that? Yes, uh, that's my brother, he works there, it's his salon, and it's called Le Hub Salon, and we played there at Christmas and New Year's, and uh, we sang a lot of Christmas songs with Terry, and uh, people were standing out, they, they came and watched us, and uh, the other people were losing customers, because they came and see us sing. <laughs> that must have been a lot of fun. Yes, mm -hmm. it was fun. Totally distract them. All the other the other companies. <laughs> How about you, Frankie? What are some of your most memorable moments? My memorable moments are when I sang at Elio's. Jeanette Renault was invited there. She came for a pizza and uh, we sang together Release Me and then uh, she told me that I had a nice voice. I remember that. Mm. 
I know you've been in bands and played shows for a long time. Yes. Any memorable moments from um, playing with other people too? Yes. First I had a band with all my brothers. All my brothers. And then I had uh, the new generation band. And then I had a program on TV called Festival Bello. Wow. That I used to make all the persons come. And uh, I used to teach them singing and accordion. That's right, you play more than one instrument. Yes, I play a bit of piano, a bit of accordion, and that's it. And the keyboard too. <laughs> How about you, Terry, what do you play? Yeah, the piano and the keyboard. So you've always been musicians. Have you only worked in music? Yeah, we worked in music, but we can't live with the music. But we worked, and now that we're getting older, we have more time to do the music good because uh, we don't have to go to work, and we could do it on our own time. Right, Terry? Spur of the moment. We can talk. One, take out the piano and have a ball. Yes. So you're enjoying it now that you have the time for it. Yes, so. we are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I know a lot of musicians out there are struggling. Is there something that you can let them know from your experience that might help them? Well, I could say that uh, making love songs is the best thing because uh, it's romantic and uh, it, gives, it puts you in a good mood, uh, the music. If you don't have music in your life, it's as, as if you're dead. So that's what I say uh, for musicians, to practice music. Have you ever made music with a partner before? No, it's the first time that I sing with Terry. Mm. And uh, we get along good. How about you, Terry? We get along just fine there. Have you ever sang with a boyfriend before? Or? No, I've tried all my life to have somebody, but it never worked out until now. You must be happy to be together. Yes, we are. The, it all started on Halloween, eh? Yes, <laughs> when I got sick, yeah. When he was stoned at the hospital. And I asked her <laughs> out. His mouth. And I asked her out. <laughs> and she said yes. Stoned on medication before an operation. That's, That's how stoned. <laughs> That's right, you both have experience with cancer. Yes. 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 How um, has that affected you both as musicians? Uh, it makes me think more of uh, life. Hey, I got out of something, now I want to do something yes. with my life the way I have it, be happy with it. Yeah. And I'm, I'm very religious, that's why I asked God to help me, because I, I said, uh, if I don't see my son now, I'm never going to know how he is, you know, so he gave me a chance to survive and I'm happy that I'm, I'm surviving right now. How's your health today? Today it's a better than before, yeah, and uh, just a couple of notes <laughs> went lower, but still I still have my voice like mm -hmm. before. I refuse to stop now. Me too, I refuse to stop too, me too. That's the attitude. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, from Stephanie, Frankie, Terry, ciao. See you next time. Ciao. See you next time. There's Music and More by Terry and Frankie at the Space Alive store. S P A C E a L I V E dot C A. Ikalawit, a nectatuk for place of many fish, is located near the mouth of the Sylvia Grinnell River, which empties in to Frobishire Bay. Between 1955 and 1987, the settlement of Ikalawit was known as Frobishire Bay. Visit ikalawit.ca for more information.